Hi everyone, my name is Jacob Rosh from Phoenix Audio Technologies. And I'm Laura Miller, also from Phoenix Audio Technologies. And in this video, we just want to show you uh, what it sounds like when you have multiple speakers in a room using the Condor. So uh, in order to shoot this video, we're right back into the original room where we shot the first Condor uh, video. This is a mid-sized conference room. Uh, just to recap real quick, it's not acoustically treated. There are about two and a half uh, glass walls. The length of the room is about 24 feet and about 15 feet wide. And right now we're just using our video conferencing camera, uh, a condor that's right above it. And we're recording this through a video conferencing app on a PC right now. Uh, so just to give you an idea of where I'm located, I'm about 14 feet away from the condor. And I'm about seven feet away on the other side of the table. Yep, so we should have about seven feet between us. Let's Probably. just take a look. Yeah, seven feet right here. So Laura and I are seven feet apart, um, and we're in different sides. And the idea behind this is to show that the Condor actually has multiple beams uh, running in each room at any given moment, and it actually listens to all beams. And when it recognizes voice from any direction, it actually picks up that beam or multiple beams. So even though Laura and I are on different beams, when uh, she cuts me off and starts talking, it'll actually pick up her voice without any issues. Uh, now also remember that not only are we different sides, we're in different depths, right? So I'm 14 feet away, she's seven feet away, and I also tend to be uh, a little bit of a louder talker. I'll go ahead and cut Jacob off right here so you can see what happens when uh, somebody goes ahead and interrupts a conversation from a different direction. Fantastic, and uh, um, that should have been a good example of how the condor kind of switches over without us hearing any kind of uh, audio distortion or anything of that sort. Uh, so uh, now that we have that, let's, uh, let's try to do one more thing and check out what happens when someone is actually standing up against a board presenting and waiting on a right board versus someone talking in the room uh, and we'll have a 14 foot distance between us. So, so I'll, go ahead ahead. Up. I'll go ahead and walk up to uh, right just under the condor as if I'm at a whiteboard giving a presentation. And I'm going to start talking right now from ahead. the back and yeah. uh, cut her off and and start talking, and we can see that now the beam had to go from a close-up beam to Laura all the way to 40 feet away in the back of the room, and you should have been able to uh, understand what I am saying. So uh, that's it in a nutshell. It should work the same uh, whether we had four people, five people, or even ten people in the room uh, spread throughout the room. The condor should pick up this whole this whole room and be able to transfer its beams from one person to another. Uh, if you have any questions. Uh, or comments, please feel free to, uh, to post them on this video. I'd be more than happy to, to answer them. If you got a chance to watch our other videos, that's fantastic. If not, uh, please go ahead and check them out. And subscribe to our YouTube channel, and we'll see you next time. Thank you very much.